Uh, next thing we know, we got an all-out brawl on the floor. I ended up punching him in the in the side of the eye. He started dripping blood. <laughs> well, so, um, well, so. Yeah, what was, happened was, I was really upset. And there were, to put perspective on this, there were probably 40 people in our garage watching this. It was happening. It's my great pleasure to welcome two rising studs of the NHL, Mikey and Joey Anderson. Joey, we'll start with you. What was life like on the day that the hockey world hit pause? Uh, it was weird. I thought we we were supposed to play Carolina that night. It was just another game day. We went into the rink and, um, you know, guys were kind of a little jumpy, didn't know what was going to happen and um, went home from morning meeting and get a text in the afternoon, just said, hey, yeah, shut it down and, and just – hang out at, at home, don't leave, and um, kind of just waited for, for further instructions. But it uh, was, uh, you know, kind of uh, obviously a weird situation to be in, and guys were, uh, you know, trying to make the most out of that situation. How about for you, Mikey? Yeah, it was pretty similar to him. We were uh, playing Ottawa, I think it was right before the game. Um, we were getting ready to go out for warm-ups, and someone had said how the NBA had just paused their season. So, um, everyone kind of had an urge that something might be happening. We didn't, you know, a couple of guys, I think for sure, didn't really know if we were going to continue even that game. Um, so, I mean, you, you go out there, you kind of have to, took a little extra to get into the game. And then um, after that, it was, you know, the same kind of process, just go home, stay at home, um, lay low, try and, try and stay away from all the public areas with lots of people and, and just kind of be to yourself. So what made you guys decide to link up then for quarantine? I think it's just we want to go home. Like we love it in Minnesota, and it's nice to be around our family. We're here with we have our our older sisters with us, two parents, and um, just nice to spend some time together. And um, it's a lot easier for us if we're together. I mean, he's my best friend, and I assume he says the same for me. So it's nice to you know go through this with somebody. I know it makes working out a lot easier at home, just being able to do it with somebody and and kind of push each other. But um, you know, just it's a lot easier than you know, playing video games with them all day instead of uh, being face-to-face. -face. How similar is it to being back in high school again? You just click back into that same routine, or what's it been like being back up? I, I think this for sure, it's, it's been more like when we were, you know, five to ten years old. Um, obviously, we're, we're a little older now, a little bigger, but I, I, we've still found uh, ways to have fun. Uh, right when we got home, we, we played a little slap shot regatta in the garage, um, did a little water balloon game over the the house we're finding ways to to kind of stay busy stay creative um and, and try and make the most out of being here even with uh you know not being able to leave it all how, how competitive did the two of you get growing up I mean how many games of slap shot in the garage has there been over the years <laughs> countless honestly it's all day every day it was um for most winters I think from like October till March our dad would build a rink in our backyard so a lot of the games were outdoors but it would be Whatever it was, it was always a best of seven series. I would probably take an hour, hour and a half. It would end in a full-on fist fight. We'd need to take 10 minutes apart or something like that. And we'd come back and be like, hey, you want to play again? And we would just continue like that every day. That was all we did. So, so Mikey, what was it about your childhood then, do you believe, that turned you into the defenseman? Well, <laughs> from hearing my dad, his theory was – uh, we have a backyard rink our whole life's growing up. It started um, small, just right in the patio and in, in the, you know, right by our door. And as we got bigger, it, it progressively turned into pretty much the whole backyard or at least the bulk of it. And he was always bigger, faster, stronger. So he had the puck and I never could get it from him. So uh, my dad's theory is me just having to try my best to get it from him. And then once I had it to try and keep it a little bit as long as I could, um, kind of learned where to be, how to position myself to, to end up getting the puck from him. So, so after you had built up all this chemistry over the years in the backyard, in the garage, whatever it was, what was it like on the first time you guys became teammates and you could actually put that to use on the ice? You want to go? Well, I was going to, yeah. It's, we, we played together every other year growing up, but, you know, when we're younger, it's, little hard like it's, it's different as I mean he was forward still I was defenseman but um, I think kind of going into in the high school is kind of the first real you know big stage hockey that we played together and it's it's just different when uh, we have that special bond where we kind of know how each other play the game where where it's going to be so if we're ever out there together 
Um, we, we both know the way we think. So, I mean, for him being a forward, he could maybe cheat a little more one way or another, knowing what I'm going to do with it. And kind of the same thing for me is if, if I'm trying to leave the zone, maybe I could, I could wait an extra second because I know he, he'll be in a spot where um, I'll have support once I get it or, or if we're able to get it back. Yeah, I agree. Jo Joey, what's your favorite memory being a teammate of your brother? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I uh... – well, the fights weren't just at home. I mean, they'd be at, in practice, too. I know we got talked – when we were at Duluth, we got talked to by Coach Sandlin about having to kind of calm down in practice because we were fighting so much. And he just said, he goes, you guys play too much during the games. We can't – you guys can't get hurt in practice fighting each other. Like, that's silly. So, like, we kind of had to tone it down there. But, um, you know, I think just you – know, I don't know. I just like watching them. That's my favorite part, I think. Um, obviously it's nice to watch him play every day on the same team, but, um, you know, he's, uh, the way he thinks the game, I think a lot of people are starting to see it, but it's a very underappreciated thing. And, um, you know, I've always had that appreciation for it. So it's fun to watch him play. So Mikey, with both of you guys now being on separate coasts, how rare is this time together? How do you hang out throughout the course of a year? Yeah, uh, it's like you said, it's super hard. Um, even if we try and play Xbox together, it's a three hour time difference. So um, half the time, you know, I'll, I'll finish up dinner. He's already getting ready for bed or he, he's, you know, everything's a little, a little off. So it's, it, it's hard to find time to, to do stuff together. So obviously, um, you know, we try and play Xbox if we can. Um, uh, to us, that's more fun than sitting there on FaceTime. Um, you get to, you know, compete a little bit at something. Um, still get to talk with him, but um, like you said, being able to be here together now, um, spend all this quarantine time together is awesome because we we got to take when we can get it since we don't get it a whole lot during the year. And you're back to sleeping in the same room again? What's that like? Uh, it's it's kind of fun. Uh, so that was a couple years ago when we I, I was in Waterloo. He was with the, the U.S. national team and came home in the summer and we were we were joking because we had moved our, our room apart we grew up our whole lives in bunk beds and then uh, we finally moved to separate rooms we came back to one summer and we were like no like let's let's put our rooms or our, our room together again so got our dad on board we moved our beds down into the basement and we got our room now is just two beds right by each other um not a whole, whole lot of room for anything else but um, we're only usually down there to go to bed anyway, so we don't really mind it, and it gives gives some extra room for my mom and dad upstairs. How have you guys been able to keep some form of hockey in your day to day routine as we go along? Well, I, I mean, for starters, it's 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 hard at times just to try and you know keep the mental focus. Um, so we'll go out. We got our, our shooting tarp out in the garage. Whether it's just handling the puck a little bit every day, shoot a couple pucks. Um, um, even for me, sometimes I, I like playing NHL just to kind of keep me in the in the mindset of, of being able to make hockey plays, even though it's, you know, nothing really the same, but uh, it kind of keeps you in, in the mindset of, of hockey and, and the way the game flows and, and how it works. We have a, dog, like a golden retriever. We'll go, like, shoot tennis balls, like, to her, like, things like that. Like, we were just we, – we handle something in our, with a stick, and, and, you know, we'll go out in the street and just fire pucks back and forth down the down the road and like different little things like that we're trying to get creative with it if that's a way to put it um instead of just going out and shooting pucks at a tarp yeah. what will you remember most mikey about your nhl debut yeah i think winning <laughs> yeah well winning beating him for one <laughs> just uh being able to have the whole family there um I mean, I said it before, everything lined up perfect where my parents and my sister were already out there visiting because um, we had games with the rain at home, so they were able to watch me. And then he was coming on the on the West Coast trip if he was up with the Devils. Um, and then it all just worked out perfect where I got called up the, what was it, two days before the game, and they were all right there already. So it was it was pretty awesome just getting to spend all the time with them, you know, off the ice the, the night before, the day before, and then. I'm going out there for, for the first lap, and he's out there on the other side looking at me, which made it pretty special. Awesome. All right, this gets us to our lockdown lightning round right now. The one exercise through the quarantine you never anticipated that you would be doing, that you found yourself doing over and over, is there anything that's totally off the wall or different than you would be doing right now? 
I don't know. We don't do well, much. Well, for him, for <laughs> him at least, we started. We, we've been. His girlfriend's come over and she's brought some puzzles. So we've been doing puzzles. I don't think yeah. I've seen Joey do a puzzle ever in his life, and he's actually done some work on a puzzle, which is shocking. I struggle with the colors. I, I, <laughs> I, I can't piece it together. I struggle with the shapes. I get it. <laughs> How about the biggest fight you two ever got into growing up? Well, where do we start? We have a lot. There were the grad one party. The one, yeah, probably my my sister's grad party. Um, we were playing a ga game called Stain Pond. I don't know if you ever played it, where you run around the paint pond table, and you you have like four guys or whoever, and you have to hit it back across. But once you hit it, you keep running in a circle around the table until there's oh, one yeah. person left. And we started with maybe eight people because so once you once you lose, you get hit by everybody left in the game with a ball. Yes. So like yep. you're getting stung with a ping pong. And ball. we did it at her grad party, and there was a, a a garage full of of people, um, and she's there watching us, and we probably had eight people. It was down to three or four of us left and I got Joey out said to have hit it a little too hard. Um, still up for debate. And yeah, he, he came after me. Uh, next thing we know, we got an all out brawl on the floor. I ended up punching him in the, in the side of the eye. He started dripping blood. <laughs> oh, well, so, um, well, so yeah, what was, happened was I was really upset and there was to put perspective on this. There was probably 40 people in our garage watching this. It was packed. <laughs> Most of these people, <laughs> my sister and maybe one or two other people that are in there, like, no, we fight. But, like, they all think it's kind of like, eh. So, like, this happened, and, like, I turned, and I was sprinting at him. Like, I almost flipped the ping pong table to get around it. And then I finally got him, and I'm on the ground, and I'm feeding him. And then one of, the, like, one of the guys that was at the party ended up, like, grabbing my arm when I was back and loaded. And he ended up hooking me with a right, cuts me open, like I'm starting to bleed. Everyone's like, Oh my God, my dad's over in the corner trying to like get us a stop. And I turn and I start, I'm like swearing to my dad. I'm like, no, like this is not okay. Like I was so mad. So can your dad still kick your guy's ass or, or how's that work? Yeah. He's got the, he's got the old man strength. We're, we're getting there. It's getting closer, but he's, he's got the old man strength. Uh, no matter how strong we are, I don't, I don't think that ever goes away for him. Well, and he'll, he'll say he, he's like, you know, there's always that little party, like you won't hurt your dad. So like, well, we always, he always has that little edge on us just because of that. Yeah. At least that's what he believes. Yeah. Keep telling yourself that. I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> How about the best part about sharing this NHL dream with your brother? I, I think it's just uh, being able to do it together. Uh, Obviously, you will you dream? What's well, that was the question? Well, I know, what's, but what's the best part of that? <laughs> just you know, you you answer the question. You go, no, you go, no, it's, go, it's go. Great. Shoot, just shoot. Growing yeah. up playing hockey together, it's it's you know always been our dream to do this. So it's just it's one of those things like we're following our dream, and you know it's pretty incredible getting to play hockey every day, all day, and um, you know get to do it at the highest level. It's it's a very surreal experience. So I was going to say, if you let me get there. Well, apologies for cutting you off. So yeah, I'll retweet that. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's some conversations that you guys have that you, you really can't have with anybody else. You know what I mean? Like there's just high level stuff that exists in your lives that does not exist in your friends' lives or, you know, probably in your family's lives in some instances. Like what are those conversations? I guess really that was the question that I was getting at. Yeah, uh, I think especially just with the family. Uh, I mean, it's kind of, like you said, we're still young, so we're trying to figure out kind of the whole NHL lifestyle. Obviously, he's he's had a good taste of it last year and then into this past year. Um, and I've been up for – I had a couple weeks of it at the end of the year. So, I, you know, we still try and figure it out. And between the two of us, kind of see what the differences are between, um, you know, organizations, the way, the way some of the guys act, the way the players are. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of fun – talking back and forth about who, who, you know, what the guys are like in their room. But um, lifestyle wise, obviously a lot of guys or friends and even family don't really understand how it all works. But, um, you know, when they, when they ask questions, sometimes they get kind of shocked when we tell them that, you know, it's kind of the same as everyone else's life is it's, it's just a job. We, we go to the rink, we, we do our work. And then, um, you know, the only difference is we got guys that'll go home to, to wives and kids and you got guys that go home, that are 20 years old and they go play Xbox with friends just kind of based off of um, where everyone's at in their life and then the path they're on. 
Yeah, you can retweet that one. That's good. I like that yeah. answer. So, two brothers that are on a mission, Mikey and Joey Anderson. We appreciate the time. It's awesome. It's iron sharpens iron. That's the sense that I get just watching you two go back and forth right now. Uh, stay safe up there, please. And we appreciate the time. Absolutely. Thank yeah, you. Thank you.